Well, well, good morning. Welcome back to Central Ontario and to GP Outdoors. As you can see, we're sitting at almost the end of April. We're in the last few days of April, and that lake is still iced over, which is unheard of. Usually three or four weeks ago, we would have had open water. The geese would all be in there. They're starting to make their nests. But lately, the geese just kind of stand around on the ice and look confused. I don't blame them. My neighbor guy gave me a shout. Apparently, we've got a well pump that's broken. No water's coming up. Now, I've never done a well pump before, and in fact, neither is Guy. But we all know Guy's pretty mechanically inclined, so I have a feeling we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna grab my rubber work boots, my rubber gloves, a few other things. We're gonna head over to Guy's place, and we're gonna grab some tools, and then head over to the site. And let's see if we can get this thing up and running and get these folks some water. Cheers. Okay, so Guy, Bob, and I are at the site. I'm just gonna take a look at it. Looks like the plan is we're gonna have to build some kind of a platform because the pipe is sitting in a trench and then we're gonna get at it. Stick around. Cheers. Yeah, the brown mark, I got it. You see there's a little piece of copper in there. Right. Oh, geez. Yeah. Is it shorted against it, guy? I don't think so. Oh. oh, the wire's pooched. Oh, boy. Right all the way so down. So I shorted out. I have to change the whole wire all the way down. Hey folks, just a quick break from the video. I had a number of subscribers who had asked about how Guy's wood pile is going after the winter time. You'll remember back at Woodstock when we filled up this entire woodshed by the boiler and I think we did about 21 or 23 bush cord. 
And a number of people have said, man, that's a lot of wood. But let me show you why we need it so much and we needed to fill it to the rafters. Come on inside with me. So as you folks could see, we're just about empty. There's not much left. Down here at the end, we're sitting around the last week of April. We've still got a little cold weather to come. In fact, they're calling for snow again this weekend, believe it or not. But we don't have a lot left here. And the reason why is because we had a really cold and miserable winter. Now, in all fairness, on an average winter, usually there'd be a lot left here. But the important thing is when we're gathering wood, we need to make sure that there's more than enough wood in the event of a bad or really cold and long winter, which we've had this year. Because if we don't make it through, there's no getting back into the forest to get more wood because we get three, four, five feet of snow piled up back there and there's no chance of getting the tractors back to try to find more wood. Anyways, so here's the update on Guy's Shed. Just, thanks a lot, let's get back to the video and let's get that pump out of the ground. Cheers. Oh, I hear something. It's emptying out. We at least... Let's do this. There it is. Ugh. So, geez, those wires. There's a lot of spots. Look at that. Melted it right out of its casing. Yeah. And then melted against the other one. That's probably one of the spots where it shorted. Okay, right, gotcha. Did it again down here. Yep. All the way down. Boy, that must have been something. And then finally, those connectors right there blew it. Blew it right out. Okay. So the plan is uh, we need a new pump. New pump. New wire. New wire, new rubber. New rubber. And that should be it. We should be back in business. All we have to do is put it back together. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anybody remember how we took it apart? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it wasn't so bad. Looks like we need a new pump, and looks like we probably need another 100 to 125 feet of wire, because she is shorted out and burned out in so many places. But it wasn't so bad, it was my first pump job. Didn't know what to expect, but it went pretty good. We got a good two or three hour drive to get to a place that sells the pumps. So it looks like we're gonna wrap up this as episode one of two, and then we'll get back together for a final episode as we replace it and get it back in and see if we can get it working again. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Well, <laughs> all right. So, what is so bad? Come on. Just for your information, okay? <laughs> Alfred's well is not this deep.